<laughs> Hello, Charlene. Hello, Lilu. How are oh, you? Oh, good, good. It's so good to, to be with you and see you on Skype and connect with your energy directly. Thank you. <laughs> um, I have a question regarding the, the, the 100 Day Challenge because you're on season six. And I would yes. love to hear how did you found it? How did you find about the 100 Day Challenge, first of all? Oh, okay, I was a big YouTuber uh, about a couple of years ago. It's been almost two years, a year and a half. And I found Lilu Masi and I started watching your videos and they were so inspiring. I was looking for some inspiration. I was looking to be lifted up because I was, I was pretty much down and out. So when I found it, I said, this would be great. Let me go over to this challenge and let me try it out. Well, when I first got started, with the uh, CCOR 100 Day Reality Challenge, it was a big awakening for my life. It, uh, it opened me up to the same thing I said to you in the email, balance, harmony, and meditation. Um, I, one of your meditations was one of the uh, first meditations that I started listening to on a regular basis after I got into the challenge. It was one that uh, mp3 that you had just put together and I, I rather enjoyed it and I it, it helped me to find the balance and the harmony so that that was how I first started out at CCOR so nothing really stopped you in starting it you're like this is it I'm jumping oh. in I'm gonna do the video you are not you're you're not holding back because some people are a little bit intimidated by doing video blog so but you are not, not. A, you're like this I, is it I'm doing it <laughs> The first 100 days, I must have done like 80 vlogs. Wow. <laughs> I must have done like 80 video vlogs the first 100 days. I slowed down a little bit over the last four challenges because, like I said, about balance. Yeah. I had to balance my life out. I couldn't be gung-ho into the law of attraction and universal principles and then not living it in my life. Mm -hmm. So well, once that's a I good was... point you're bringing up. That's a good point you're bringing up because some people stop the 100-day challenge because it feels like sometimes it could take too much of their time. But it's like anything. You have to find the right balance. And at the same time, it's all, you, know, you can put as much as you want and do as many videos as you want. How do you stop the challenge? I, I always ask people that when I'm interacting with my fellow co-creators, how do you stop doing the challenge once you're already aware that these seasons of your life are happening. I, I can't stop. Even when I'm missing from the online group, my season is still going on. The seasons yeah. are still changing. I, I never, it never ends for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for me too. I could be offline for a week, but that's okay. I don't make myself wrong. Some people feel like it needs to be perfect too. And some people I think feel that they need to be there every day or to do it a certain way. Otherwise, they start, they stop it there and they start a new one. So what would you have to say oh, to yeah. people that want to just stop it there because it's not exactly as it's supposed to be for them? Remember that things are as they're supposed to be. <laughs> if you're away from the online uh, community, that is where you're supposed to be right now. I'm, I'm looking at my uh, tagline I have here on my Skype. It says, your full potential is doing your best in the moment for that moment and that's by Byron Katie um that's all you can do if you can't be online I wasn't online from January of this year until June of this year I was missing in action for that but I still had my seasons uh I didn't have a computer yeah. I didn't have a home I was living with my parents I was I was basically you know homeless and hating it mm -hmm. and and over that season that I was out of the community Mm -hmm. I manifested so much. My season never ended. I got my own place. I got back to work. I got my business back going. And mm -hmm. I got a new computer and I'm back online. So I know. Totally this is excited. great image. The image is really good. You must have, you have a good webcam right now. Yes, this yes. Is a good computer. Yes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good because your energy just radiates and you're like, you're an incarnation of those principles. You, I, I guess that, I mean, do you feel that throughout the season, you're more and more embodying all this naturally anyway, and it becomes a habit, a way of living? Yes, definitely. Um, at first it was 
it was pretty tough. You know, everything was basically me trying to mimic what I saw other people doing. And it was a lot of thought. I was thinking a lot. My head was hurting. I was getting frustrated. I was getting tired. I was like, oh, this is a lot of work. But after I got used to it, you know, now uh, I wake up in the morning and I say my thank yous without even thinking about it. I uh, get when I'm writing something and I'm about to about to write something negative, I automatically erase it and go back and write it over before I even realize it. I'm starting. Yeah. Like you said, to embody it, it's just starting to become me. And I, Oh, just your the breath. Is fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, wow. My heart is so open right now. It's just fantastic. It's Mine fantastic is too. To meet other like-minded people. And this is, I think that's, that's what, I find that's what I find in the community is other like-minded people that you share, you know, positive and inspirational thoughts with and people going for their dream. How did that did you meet some people online? I mean, what was your your Oh Oh yes, oh yes. Um I first person I met was Wally Collins, the comedian. He's awesome. And uh Sonia from uh Christ Church, New Zealand. And um, uh, Lee Ann from Trinidad and all of this. And Edith, Edith, I love Edith. Oh. We meld together. We're in a whole bunch of groups together and we just support each other all the time. Whether it's a call on the phone, a call on Skype, whether it's a, a supporting email because we're going through a rough time. I've been through a few rough patches. Yeah since I've been in a challenge and, and these people and more co-creators in that have helped me through these challenges. And when I had no one, none of my friends were around mm -hmm. that lived near me. They weren't participating. Ah, this is the problem when there is so much energy. This is part of those technical like bloops, you know, this, yeah. it, dis it disconnects everything. Oh, I have this anyway. Um, so you were saying about going through how, how the community helped you through those tough challenges. Yeah, yeah. I, it was amazing. It was like I had, and, and all of my friends, they're not with the uh, the universal laws and things like that. They're pretty negative. So it it was as it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, the negative energy was lifted out of my life, not purposefully, because I was dialing their numbers every day, mm -hmm. like somebody answered the phone, you know, <laughs> but my co-create in our reality, my co-creators, they were there. They were all, they're always there. There's someone there all the time. I mean, what, there are over 7,000 members now? Yeah, nearly six. Yeah, but uh, it's growing exponentially each day. Yeah. Dozens nearly six. Of people are joining every day. Yeah, so so it's always someone there to be supportive of you. That's what I love about the community. I'm never leaving this community unless you <laughs> take it off the internet. And then I think we'll still connect on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's some amazing synergies and uh, friendship. And So what kind of challenges did you face and what kind of practice did you put in place or how did you get out of it? Well, I, I, I own my own business. I was a, a truck driver, actually, an owner operator. And I was planning to buy more trucks. I had this big plan in front of me. It was great. Yeah. And then I wrecked the truck. Uh -uh. I, I, I walked away without a scratch. With a, but the truck did not walk away. <laughs> and it, it, it literally changed my life. I was back living at home with my parents. I had lost all of my money. I had lost all of my income. Yeah. And, you know, um, I was a, I was in a bad relationship with a, with a guy who was hurting. And we were hurting each other. Mm -hmm. And they helped me through all of that for maybe the first three seasons. And in this last season, season five, mm -hmm. I manifested my own place. Mm -hmm. I manifested this computer. I manifested a job mm -hmm. and that I wasn't supposed to even be able to go back to. This is an old job that I had that I wasn't even, I wasn't supposed to be able to return to. Yeah. And I manifested the ability to return. It was awesomely amazing and my life is like on the right track my business is going um awesomely but I you, have a but you feel we can feel that you feel good about life I mean that you're fulfilled kind of even regardless of outside circumstances oh yeah definitely 
Definitely. And, and I, I give that. I give that to the group because they are me and I am them. We're one energy. And I give that to them, just being connected with them, even when I'm not there online. Just, you know, knowing that I have them there yeah. and feeling their energy. And I, I think about a lot of the co-creators all the time. I'm always giving them good energy in my mind. Yeah. And I know that they're doing the same for me. Uh, so how... How what do, what do you, why do you use the word manifested? Because some people use in their life the word you know I, I made it happen and this is this is the results I got out of my life. But you use the word manifested. What is is it because it's it's a sort of something that you feel? Is it because it's effortless? Is it because you you feel like you've participated in that? I mean, why do you use that word manifested? Um, because I, I believe in the word co-creator. I believe in that. I believe in creation. And I don't believe that uh, that my individual self is the creator. I believe that along with others that are creating in this life, along with God, along with the spiritual essence, all it is, we are creating alongside with it because there's a bigger picture that I just can't see. So sometimes when I think something should manifest in my life and it doesn't, um, I understand that it's for the greater good. Mm -hmm. You know, be, maybe it's not my time for that or maybe it'll never be my time for that. When it is time, it will come. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use the word manifestation because uh, even though I initiate, ultimately, I don't make things happen. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I go into the creation room or the vortex as we're all saying right now I go into the vortex and um, inside there manifestations come and I enjoy them I, I actually didn't intend to uh, move where I moved I didn't intend to get the type of computer that I got I didn't intend to do those things but when uh, I did want them no, don't get me wrong. I wanted them. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I wanted them. And, but I wasn't in a state of want yeah. when I received them. Mm -hmm. I was in a state of, okay, yeah, okay, uh, let's go. This is, this is what's on my heart to go do today. I was in the flow. Mm -hmm. So I went to check on the computer, and I said, oh, I can afford that. Mm -hmm. So I got it. And then when I went to check on the uh I went to check on another house, actually, when I got this apartment, and I was just there in the flow, and a woman said, she said, sign anyway, even though you don't want to live in these apartments, sign anyway, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you can always move. I was like, oh, goodness, moving twice. That's a big thing. But it was in the flow. I signed the papers, and I love it. Yeah. I have had no problems here. I love it. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good. It's like the universe is and God is working with you so that it knows already what's best for you. Yes, yes. Uh, is, do you have any advice for anybody watching, any person that is kind of hasn't been participating for a while or that is not in the challenge right now and that is inspired to do so but are a bit intimidated maybe or whatever their fear may be? Do you have any advice for them? Yeah. Videos are not at all necessary. I participate in discussions. I write blog posts. Sometimes my blog posts are one sentence. Uh, I just comment on people pages and they comment back on mine. I, I update my profile. I, I do a lot of low key things. I'm not always making videos, you know, but those are the things that really keep me in balance and harmony. The smaller things, the comments. Um, participating in the groups, watching other people's videos. Um, that's major. Mm -hmm. I try to watch at least three videos a day mm -hmm. from my fellow co-creators. I try. I don't always succeed. I mean, it's, a, it's in the flow. It's not going to happen like that every day. You don't have to be there every day. You just have Hello. We're gonna get into a little other technical thing, but do you have a last little word that you would like to to, to say or or share? With oh group, yeah, with everyone. Um, I, I would say this is on my heart right now. When you enter the challenge, um, don't be afraid to open up. Mm -hmm. um, healing comes when you open your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, Lilu, you talk about that all the time, um, living from an open heart. 
Um, I see some people in our community that are afraid Mm -hmm. to talk about negative things because this is supposed to be positive, positive, positive. Mm -hmm. But this is where balance comes in. Um, when, When you're going through something and you're connected to community like this, who is going to support you in such a major way, if, if, a person only thinks about you for two seconds. Think about it. You have 30 or 40, maybe 50 or 60 people thinking about you for two seconds. That is a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. And when they, when we think about you at the group, I've noticed we think about you in a positive way. We uplift you in our minds. We think of you coming out. We never pity you. So come to the group. Talk to us in a, in a way you can. You know, you don't have to spill all the beans and let everybody know what's going on in your life. Um, <laughs> detail by detail, you know, but just say, you know, I'm having a hard day and I really need to be picked up. Mm-hmm. I, I recommend doing that within the community and um, not waiting. Mm-hmm. And not waiting. major, major support when that happens. I, I totally get how intimidating it is, but then it's just comments are pouring in and really, really cool. Really cool. So what's your big dream? Can you share with us your vision or what you're visualizing for yourself and what, what's out there. I have changed my profile name on CCOR to the Jelaine company. That's my, my uh-huh. big major company. Yeah. And the Jelaine company is about uh, helping others to make changes that create success so that they can live better lives. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm doing on a regular basis every day. Mm-hmm. And that's what I think about 24 seven, even when I'm at work. <laughs> So that, that's 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 what I'm going to be doing, and I'm, I'm looking forward to making it happen. How can we support you? How can we support you? Oh wow! You can support me. Um, my my major show that I do out of the Jelaine Company is Jelaine Talk. You can support me at JelaineTalk.com. That is where it's a blog. I do YouTube videos, and um, I'm actually have integrated them with CCOR, if you've seen. Um, so I'm, I'm a real support and sponsor of CCOR out there on YouTube, um, telling everybody to come join the community because I believe it's a good thing, and it, it mixes into what I do. So mm, You're a beautiful soul. We're so <laughs> grateful to know you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am grateful to know you changed my life thank you much 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 love more love to you (laughs) 